Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Brooks U Melton College live Q&A session for sport and sports science. Um, I'm Alex, I'm the marketing manager here at the college, um, and I'm joined by some of our sports and sports science lecturers today. Um, we've got Adil, David, Philippa, Jack, and Andy, who's our section head as well. Um, so I think Philippa is going to start us off um, by talking a little bit about the level two sport, just to give you um, an overview of the course. So over to you, Philippa. Yeah, so I'm Philippa. I'm one of the lecturers at Brooks Melton College. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of a background about our level two course um, in regards to kind of the assessment methods and, and what you'll actually do on it. Um, so our level two is a one year course um, that is ran at our Brooksby campus. Um, as part of the course, it is just coursework based, so there are no exams within this. Our level two is equivalent to GCSEs, so it is kind of um, our entry requirements to get onto the course would be for uh, grades at a D or equivalent, I believe it's a four. Um, so the units on the course, um, there's a lot of practicals, so we have units like participating in sport, sports coaching, as well as planning and organising a sports event. So our planning, organising sports events, actually one of my favourite units, where you get to plan and run an event at Brooksby for a chosen group. So you might choose sports students, or you might choose to try and get in touch with local primary schools and things like that to run this event. Um, we do lots of other things that actually connect to our level three course. So it's a nice stepping stone onto our level three platform. So we do things like anatomy and physiology, sports psychology, which is all about like the mindset of a sports performer, um, as well as developing skills, techniques and tactics in sports. Um, so you get quite a nice overview of different topics within sport that can actually help you decide maybe what you actually want to do as a future career. Because um, lots of you might come to college with enjoying sport, but maybe not necessarily knowing what career you want to do out of it at the end. Um, so we do lots of different assessment methods on this course. We do one to one interviews. So we talk to you about it and record these meetings. We do presentations, posters, booklets, as well as like assessed practicals. So you might get assessed on leading a coaching session to the rest of your group in a chosen sport. Um, so that's a brief overview of the course. Um, if there's any sort of questions, I believe there's a chat box. Is that right, Alex, that they can put them in about level two? And then I can yeah. answer if there's any more sort of details about level two in a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah, please uh, write your questions in the box um, and we'll get those answered for you. Um, now, was it, sorry, was it David who was going to answer about level two? Yeah. Uh, level, three uh, support? level three, yeah. Yeah, yeah OK, um, that's brilliant. Thank you. Um, if you want to go ahead with that and I'll just um, share another screen. <laughs> yeah, no problem. So, yeah, like Alex was saying, my name's David, so I'm one of the, the sports lecturers um, on the course. Just to tell you a little bit about the level three programme. So the level three course is a two year course. Um, again, it's going to be within our Brooksby campus. Now to start with the initial sort of entry qualifications that you would need to access this course is five GCSEs four or above um, or a level two in sport along with a level two in functional skills. Um, like I said, the course is run over two years and you will split the different modules over the course of two years. So you'll run seven modules within the first year. Um, so the modules that you will undertake within the first year is a range of anatomy and physiology, fitness training and programming for sport, professional development in the sports industry, sports leadership, sports psychology, practical team performance and coaching for performance. Um, similar to what Philippa was saying, there'll be a range of different assessment methods that you will undertake for that. Um, so they will range from a professional discussion, presentations, essays. You've also got exams in there as well. Um, along with that, you will do different types of written reports, practical assessments, and also some case studies. Um, into the second year of the course. So the second year of the course um, that looks at application of fitness testing. Um, what you will also do with it is research methods in sport. So the research methods in sport allows you to undertake any kind of research that particularly interests you um, and essentially set you up for going into higher education where you'll be working with in the dissertation um, along with that. Uh, you'll also do some work experience within the active leisure industry. 
Another unit is professional development and provision in sport and physical activity. Um, along with that, you will look at investigating business in sport, skill acquisition and also performance analysis within sport. Um, and again, that will cover the different range of assessment criteria um, that we spoke about in the previous so professional discussion, case studies, etc. Um, <clears throat> so what this is going to give you is essentially an equivalent to three A levels for this, um, as well with a range of UCAS points, which all the universities will um, will obviously understand. Um, we also run a HE programme within the college. Um, so at the college, we run a sports science programme. Um, so again, that's a progression route that you would be able to take if you did choose to go with that. Um, so essentially, again, that is most of it for the level three sports program. Um, also, you do have a chance to partake in an enrichment program. So you might have looked on the website um, and have seen a different sort of enrichments or different sort of pathways you can go with. So we have a netball academy, Brooksby Bears at the college, a route that you can go down. Um, but we also run lots of the different enrichment programs at the college um, that you can partake in. Um, so essentially that is, is everything for level three sport, unless there are any questions that you would like to ask. Um, I, we have had one in, but I think Andy's going to answer that in the chat, so we'll come back to that in a minute. Um, Jack, will you be able to talk about the level three sport science then, please? Yes, of course. So um, similar to the level three sport course it's uh, assessed in similar ways so we've got uh, assignment based uh, written work practical work exams um, in terms of the unit content it probably looks at it in more of a scientific way you tend to do applied functional anatomy instead of just functional anatomy but it's looking at things in a little bit more depth than just on the sports course we do just as much practical on the sports science course as we do on the sports one but it's assessed slightly differently um, in terms of the entry requirements it's five GCSEs again um, at level four or above uh, this course works particularly well for a route into HE whether that being at the college or another institute um, that some of the main differences in the second year you get to do your own mini research project, uh, which I'm currently teaching at the moment, which means you get to do your own research into anything that interests you. So we've got a multitude of different projects being run by our rugby students at the moment. Some looking into the effects of caffeine on performance, some looking at the sort of diversity of uh, how do I describe it, the diversity of people taking part in sport at the college. So it's really applying in the sense of what you can do and it will set you up really well for either going straight into uh, education, uh, higher education or straight into the, the world of work. Lovely, thank you very much. Um, Adil, would you be able to give us a bit of information about the facilities that we have at Brooksby? Yeah, sure thing. So um, we have um, some good facilities at the college. Uh, we've got a full-size floodlit 3G pitch. Um, it can be used by 11 a side, um, and it's obviously got some three three different pitches. Uh, we do offer enrichment. So on a Monday and a Tuesday, uh, we would do football training, and Wednesday would be game day. So you'd have access to using the 3G pitch. Uh, we have a multifunctional sports hall, um, which has a storeroom with a lot of equipment in it. Uh, we have netball equipment, uh, we have uh, badminton equipment, uh, we have a uh, basketball court. Uh, so whatever you want to do, um, we've also offered students an enrichment program of if they wanted to do a certain sports, we would offer those sports. So uh, badminton, if you want to do badminton, you can do badminton. If you want to do basketball, you can do basketball. Uh, but the biggest thing, uh, an advantage that we have at the college is our is our gym and our sports science lab. So in the gym we have uh, we have uh, rowers, uh, we have uh, four squat racks, uh, benches, dumbbells. Um, I believe in me saying so, Andy, that we were going to be looking at giving students access to that during uh, en enrichment time so they can use that in their own time. Um, obviously, if you're boarding or living on campus, uh, you can use that uh, after five o'clock um, or in the morning. 
Uh, we also, if you're interested in rugby, uh, we have a brand new uh, rugby pitch. Uh, it's a show pitch, which is when you drive in, you can see the pitch. Uh, but we have two other two other rugby pitches. And at the back of the college, we have three full size grass football pitches where you probably play 11 side games. Brilliant, thank you. Um, at our Brooksby campus, we've got 850 acres, so there is a huge amount of space for these sports facilities, and it's something that we've invested in really heavily over the last few years. Um, as Abdul mentioned, we also have accommodation on site, so that's fully catered. Monday to Friday. So if you live further afield, um, you can live with us on site. Um, we've got a new promotional video about that on the accommodation page for the virtual open day. So if that's something that you're interested in, go and check that out. Um, and if you have any more questions, um, please let us know. Um, you can apply for that as soon as you've been given a place on a course, um, but it does fill up. So we would recommend getting your application in fairly quickly for that. Um, Andy, would you be able to give us a bit of an overview of the degree courses that we offer? Yeah, I certainly can. So our, our degree programme, we offer a what we call a two plus one model. So we we offer a degree in, in sports science. We, we do the first two years as a foundation degree where you'll study things like uh, principles of sports coaching, uh, strength and conditioning, research, etc. Um, moving on to, to the second year, you, you'll sort of then apply that in, in more detail. So take what you've learned from the first year and apply that to, to your second year. We are then able to offer what we call a, a top up year where you would um, you would top up to the full Bachelor of Science degree if that's what you wanted to do. But it also allows allows students to finish with a foundation degree after two years if that's what they prefer as well. So we try and we try and run it in a in a few different in a few different pathways. So we you have the opportunity to look at things like performance analysis, sports coaching, strength and conditioning, sports injury and research methods within that degree program as well. Uh, the entry requirements is currently set up at uh, around 72 UCAS points. Um, so we, we have a lot of students that, that tend to come on to, onto the pathways that might have progressed from the Mansfield pathway. Um, we're having more and more students come into it from the Leicester Tigers pathway, but also which is pleasing to see that we're having more um, Brooksby's own students that are wanting to progress onto onto our degree program as well, which which as I've sort of stated, it's it is a bespoke program. Lovely, thank you. And um, somebody's asked, um, just coming back to accommodation, if priority is given to degree students rather than level three. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Andy, but I don't think there's any priority given to any level, is there? It's all it's just first come first serve. That's it. Yeah, yeah. You you have to apply, and and I believe there's a link, Alex, on the college website where they can yeah. they can they can apply for for accommodation. But I've just seen one of the questions above in terms of how do you apply for the for the Tigers pathway as well? Yeah. Uh, is it the same modules that get taught but with a rugby focus? So for the sport side, if you decide if you're on the Tigers pathway and you want to do the sport program. Um, you'd be enrolled on what we call the um, Sport and Excellence and Performance Level 3. It is slightly different to the to the course that the mainstream Brooksby students do. One of the main differences is that it doesn't have an exams focus on the, the Leicester Tigers path with the sport pathway, um, which we feel is, is important because of the one for the entry requirements, which is which is five fours and above. But it uh, allows you to also focus on that elite side of, of sport as well without the added pressure for for exams. Um, if it was the sports science pathway as part of the Tigers route that you wanted to do, then it is exactly the same as what the um, as what the Brooksby students do. But the main difference is with each of with, with the with the Tigers courses and the Mansfield courses is that the um, rugby or football is timetabled into your into your programme. Brilliant, thank you. Um... Philippa, I'm going to ask you this one, if that's OK. Um, I think you did um, answer this, but what grades do I need to do the level two sport? So for the level two sport, it would be um, four GCSEs that are either a grade D or a three. Um, so that would be looking at kind of if you've got your, let's say, maths, English, um, religious studies and PE at grade three, that would put you onto ours. But you also have the opportunity to do your maths and English 
at the same time to be able to study those alongside your level two qualification to be able to get those to be able to go on to the level three in the next year. Can students who have applied for the level three but don't get their maths and English still do the level three or do they have to? Is that a requirement? Sorry, that went all crackly. Can you repeat that again? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Um, if you have applied for a level three but don't get your maths and English, does that mean you have to drop down to the level two or how does it work? So Andy, correct me if I'm wrong here, um, I believe if, you, if you've if you got um, your four GCSEs at a grade um, four or above, you're still able to go into your level three qualification and study your GCSEs, but if you haven't, you would go onto our level two pathway. Yeah, that's 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 bang on. The, the only difference would be if you wanted to go on the sports science pathway, there's there's no provision for English and maths on the sports science pathways, only the, the sport pathway where we allow students on that haven't got their English and maths. Lovely, thank you. Um, I don't know who would like to answer this one. Um, somebody's asked, is there an age limit? I, I can answer that one. So, um, no, there, there's, I've answered this question before today. Um, no, there, there isn't an age an age limit. So you can you can apply for a level three program if, if you are 16 plus. The only difference that that, where, that would come is is how your place at the college is funded. So if you are 16 to 8, 18 or even 19, if it's your first full level three course, um, your place will be funded. But anything over that, you would have to either self fund or seek out a loan to pay for your place. Great, thank you. Um, going to put someone on the spot. Let's see who should I pick. Um, Jack, we're going to go with you. Um, do I have to play a sport? So I presume that means any level, but um, or any any course as well. Do you have to play a sport to go yeah. on to the course? Sorry. Um, no, obviously we. If you're doing a sports course, I. Would like to think that you've had an interest in sport um, at some level but no you, you're not required to play a sport there won't be um, too many practical assessments where we assess your ability to play the sport um, in fact I don't think there's any on any of the courses where we actually assess your ability to play a sport at a different time um, so no you don't have to play uh, we will actively encourage you to join in with everything um, because that's what we want. We more, want more people participating in sport at the college. But no, it's not a requirement to, to actually play a sport. Lovely, thank you. Um, would somebody else to just give us a bit of an overview of how the different pathways work with Leicester Tigers and Mansfield and Leicester City Women's? I, I can do that one then. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I mean, when when you apply for for a course, and I believe you can apply now, the um, all the details are on the website. You, the the difference between the pathways is the, the main difference is less is uh, is Leicester Tigers and Mansfield Town. So, like I said previously, the the um, if if you are enrolled in one of those talent pathways, your your football or your rugby is is blended around your education. So for each of the courses, it's education first and then enrichment or rugby football second. Um, but yeah, the, the main difference is that, that it's built into the timetable. Whereas if you were if you weren't part of the pathways and, and a generic Brooksby student, then we would replace those slots with, with enrichment where you would get the opportunity to, like Dave said previously, to play netball um football rugby for the college teams but if you if there wasn't if it just in relating to the the question previously we do have like things like open gym sessions and and other activities that you can do if it's if it's not necessarily sport that you that you want to um that you want to play um leicester city women's is slightly different to mansfield town and, and leicester tigers so leicester city women's um, if you came onto that pathway, you would be part of the Brooksby Sport or the Brooksby Sport Science um, or level two groups. And then you would have, um, again, you would have your training times timetabled around your vocational studies. Lovely, thank you. Um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the application process in case anybody is wondering how you can apply. Um, so we accept applications anytime from now. Um, and you can technically apply right up until September, but we recommend that you apply before Easter um, just so there's time to get your application sorted and to make sure that the course doesn't fill up um, before, before you have a chance to get your place. 
Um, most people do tend to apply sort of between now and Christmas or maybe more like February actually um, just so that gives us plenty of time like I say to, for the admissions team and for the course tutors to process the application and do your interview um, if you are doing one of the pathways um, there might be a trial or some some other um, entry requirements required um, but otherwise um, it's quite a straightforward process and um, if you're currently doing your GCSE the application form asks you for some grades so just put your predicted grades in there um, and any experience you have playing with clubs or anything like that particularly if you are interested in one of the pathways I would pop that in your personal statement um, and then we will get back to you as soon as as possible um, does anyone have anything else that they'd like to add Andy I'm looking at you yeah I think just just I think just just again touching on to the uh, onto Mansfield Leicester Tigers Leicester City Women's like Alex said it's important that you do put this in into your application um, and what will happen is the uh, for example what we did last year is Mansfield Town put on some uh, what I wouldn't call it trial days they weren't necessarily trials but they it was like taster days where they would bring you in um, sort of over the summer or we'd have an evening uh, towards the end of December where you would come in and, and just experience you know what a training session would be like with the with the coaches and, and sometimes what an education session would be like with us and how they sort of work hand in hand together um, but yeah if you put your name down for for one of the if you do apply for one of the courses and you are interested in those just make sure you pop it in the application and then that that goes to the the coaches of our partners as well yeah, equally if you're interested in accommodation, I'd put that on your application too, although it does tend to come up at interviews. But um, just so we make sure we send you that information. Um, we've had one more question come in. How many days of the week are we in college? I presume that varies per level. Philippa, do you want to cover the level two first? Yeah, that's my problem. Um, so at the minute, our level two are in um, two to three days out of the week. Um, now uh, I can kind of cover all of them. A lot of our courses at the minute, um, we've got some virtual lessons going on. So our students at the minute are in two days a week with one of those days being virtual online. Um, so I'd expect your course for when you attend Brooksby, if you're coming for just the BMC programme, just to be around three days. Um, if you're on a pathway that includes Mansfield or the Tigers or the Leicester Ladies, you might be in more due to your education being slotted around your training times. So you might be in lessons in the morning and then in training in the afternoon. So you might be looking at more kind of four to five days with that course. Lovely, thank you. Um, that kind of brings us to an end now. Thank you everyone for asking the questions. Um, it's been a great session, had lots of really useful questions coming in, but if you do have anything that you think of after we've finished, you can send an email to courseinquiries at brooksbymelton.ac.uk and I will forward them on to either Andy or whichever member of the team is most relevant to answer that for you and we will get back to you as soon as possible about that. Um, and again, if you do want to apply today, please do. Um, there's lots of links all over the website for you to do that. Thank you everyone um, for helping me with the Q&A today. Uh, it's been really good um, and we will speak to you all soon. Thank you.